TBRI, Trust-Based Relational Intervention, has at its core building a trusting relationship. It has three sets of principles, and they look at the child as a whole. When you think about development, the baby cries, and I say, yes, I will comfort you. And so this child learns that they have a voice. They learn trust, which is the lesson of the first year of life. I can trust. There are so many children from hard places, and for those children, their capacity to trust has been fiercely damaged. The brain chemistry of a child who cries and no one comes is dramatically altered. The child with a history of trauma or loss or abuse has no hope of healing without a nurturing relationship. In every way that I make time and space, that I give touch, eye contact, and I give words, I am going to empower this child to go back to the beginning of what he or she should have experienced in the arms of a loving parent that said, when you cry, I will come. The phenomenal thing about a trust-based intervention is as we connect to this child, as we build safety, we actually change the brain chemistry. We change the wiring of the brain. This is really the heart and soul of all that we are and all that we do. Do I look into the child's eyes? Do I touch their arm when I talk to them? When they talk to me, do I stop what I'm doing and talk to them? This is the essence of mindfulness. The excitatory chemicals about, I'm afraid, I'm hungry, I'm cold, those are balanced when the caregiver comes and gives warmth. All regulation occurs first with an external regulator. So in the beginning, I regulate all. They're cold, I bring warmth. They're crying, I bring myself. And out of my regulation, their brain develops capacity for self-regulation. If this child didn't have this experience, that child doesn't feel safe. This chemistry can be altered First, by knowing they're safe. Second, by nutrient-rich foods. Third, by my environmental regulation of that child's emotion. And fourth, by appropriate exercise. So we can balance brain chemistry by creating a holistic environment. We clearly have to deal with behavior. Correcting means showing a child the right behavior, praising him when he gets it, and showing it to him until he can get it right and showing him with no fear and no shame so that he builds success, not a greater sense of failure. So the message of hope for our families is that we can help our children to dramatic levels of healing. We simply have to be devoted to it and be willing to invest what it's going to take.